Today, Prince of Peace celebrates God's goodness. And we would like to share with you how he has been good, very good. So here we go. We started our mini strategic plan on August 1st, and we chose to focus on the first goal of the Presbytery's national strategic plan, nurturing the church. So we started focusing on just a few new but simple strategies. And now it's the beginning of September, one month later. And after two months, we will sit down as a church to evaluate what we have been doing. We will make adjustments to our present plan, and then perhaps we might, and I say we might consider adding a few ideas related to goal two, identifying and developing leaders. So, what are our reasons for celebrating right now? Let's look at what the church has been doing before August 1st. Now, it would be absurd to say that we had not been nurturing the church before August 1st, because we had been. We had our face-to-face -face Sunday morning worship services. On Tuesdays, we had virtual prayer services. Fridays, we had our Bible studies. In both the prayer services and Bible studies, we had the pleasure of attending to the spiritual needs of people from Corozal, Louisville, San Arciso, Orange Walk, San Pedro Island, and even Merida, Mexico. Now, let's look at what we have been doing after August 1st. To nurture our church, we decided to form two WhatsApp chat groups, one for the men and one for the women. Prior to August 1st, we already had a Prince of Peace chat group. In the men's chat group, there are 10 men. They receive words of encouragement, announcements, videos, and on occasion, even a song or two. And 21 women are in the women's chat group. Each week, the women receive reflections focused on the fruit of the Spirit in both Spanish and English. The fruit of the Spirit is the theme we are studying in Sunday school classes. We also decided to bring back Sunday school classes, but now they are person to person. In each month, we have three or four Sunday school classes, the number depending on the number of Sundays in the month. We meet together for 10 minutes to pray, sing, and learn the Bible verse. Then we break up into classes. Small children, youth, women, and men. Four groups. Praise God for four Sunday school teachers. After a class of about 30 minutes, we come back together. One of the groups will recite the memory verse. And we will also give our offerings and tithes and then finally receive the pastoral benediction. One Sunday morning is dedicated to a service of communion, fellowship, companionship, and discipleship. So, as a church, this past week we celebrated the Lord's Supper together. We also sang Happy Birthday to those celebrating birthdays. We congratulated a family on their new arrival, a baby. In addition, we also decided to have virtual Sunday worship services. Three or four times per month, we have a more or less traditional worship service. 
Once again, we have persons in attendance from many different places. We average about 20 persons or families connected. What a blessing. A big thanks to our Father in Heaven for giving us Pastor Juan. What a double blessing. We also have a children's service. We sang our children's favorite songs. Zane chose El Tren de Salvación. Faith, Abner, and Aiden chose Jesus Loves Me. And some of the older children chose songs like As I Am, Oceans, Broken Vessels, and He is the Light. We also listened to the gospel message directed at the children. The small, the big, and even the old. After all, if we truly believe in Jesus, we are all children of God. And finally, we started profession of faith classes. One of the classes began in Prince of Peace. The other class began in Harvest. That is Prince of Peace's mission church in Calcutta. So that was our mini strategic plan that included chat groups, Sunday school events, worship services, and profession of faith classes. But we had some unexpected celebrations. The boys and some girls are now back at church playing sports. The sports ministry is back with permission. And then we had some construction done on the third floor of our church, Prince of Peace. The interior walls were plastered. Drywall was placed. Doors were installed. And at harvest, a bathroom was added. Some very wonderful surprises. Do we have reason to give thanks to the Lord? Yes, we do. We have plenty of reason for doing so. God is good. So very, very good.